Hello there, thanks for joining us for another edition of the program Q Sports on Asian Television. My name is Julio Lano and straight to be moved to business today. Today we'll be looking at virtual uh, pool. Yeah, we'll be looking at, uh, you know, there is so many things we'll be doing as far as this show is concerned. Uh, last week, we, or the last edition rather, we broke the news about the fact that the Chinese pool is birthing in Nigeria and it's been done by uh, Vigi Ventures in collaboration with Joy Brilliance. That's massive news for those who play pool in Nigeria. So that is one done or adjusted. So uh, hopefully another one we're tinkering with is the fact that virtual pool, uh, virtual pool also will be making its debut very soon. Courtesy of Vigi Ventures, um, a collaboration with Ascent Television. Welcome to the show Q Sports once again and let me welcome Joaquin to the studio. Joe, it's my pleasure to have you once again. Yeah, I'm Julian. As usual, <laughs> when it comes to sports and telling Q Sports and Blue, I'm really delighted to discuss. Mike, in the intro, I also I broke the news already. Uh, one down, another one we are trying to get in the QT, and that's uh, the virtual pool. Um, you know, what's the idea? Yes, um, the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Or the, the COVID 19 pandemic yeah. has. has uh, the, the 2020 was a challenge because of the pandemic. Um, and um, quite a lot of sports suffered as a result of this. Some sports were able to adjust its, its nature and became virtual. So, what uh, Fiji Ventures have done in partnership with Asset TV and even uh, school campus players are there, is that they developed what you call the virtual pool. Pool where you can play in various locations without having to play against one another directly. Okay. Well, that is. And it's actually called virtual nine ball pool. Okay. Virtual nine ball pool. So it's different, but it's just like what they have in the Chinese. That's a ball. This is nine ball. Uh, any, um, maybe, is there any um, plan to maybe bring it down to eight or uh, maybe keep it at nine or maybe four? For now, for now, we want to, what we are thinking about is uh, the nature of nine ball pool makes it very, very convenient for us to deliver, to deliver it in a virtual nature. Because what we'll be doing in virtual nine pool is that it is time. While a standard pool, in standard pool, it's, the objective is for you to put either the black ball or put the nine, nine ball, right? But uh, in virtual nine ball pool, we are timing you. So in your location, wherever you are, you are giving a time, not a time slot. You are expected to put your nine ball, not within a regulation time, just put it. The person with the lowest time wins. But there are penalties if you foul. Okay. There are penalties if you foul. And the kind of penalties you will be giving the players if they foul is time penalty. Example. If you hit the wrong ball, we add some seconds to your time. If you put the wrong ball, we add some seconds to your time. So if you smartly think that you can just go there and aim for the wrong ball and put it, we, we add some penalties to your time. If you miss the cue balls, if you miss all the balls, we add some penalties to your time. If you use uh, what I, I call it setting, if you set, it, if you set up a ball, that means you are just dressing, you are dressing the ball to put it. Huh? Because, uh, like in my book, when you play a safety shot, either the object ball or the cue ball must touch the cushion. The same thing we are going to do. So, if you want to think you dress the ball before you put it, without the cue ball or the object ball touching the cushion, you have some, penal, uh, some time to your time. So, by the end of the day, the person among the two computers that finishes in the shortest possible time has won that particular round. Uh, 
Because what have you heard that uh, I'm not going to be less asking questions that are likely to come up. That means, are we seeing new rooms for this or is it just the normal line of pool room? That we particularly do not see new rooms for this. Mm-hmm. But what we have done is to adapt or modify the existing line of pool to make, a, to make it time based rather than you just, the objective normal nine boys go and put the nine ball. That's the objective. But in this one, it is put the nine ball in the shortest possible time. Okay. Um, what about um, the officials too? How do they uh, officiate such games? They are referees the referee. at every location. Okay. So the referee is watching over your game. So whenever you meet, you, you foul, the referee will stop the game so that the, the timer mm-hmm. can input the penalty. Can input the penalty. It's computerized, it's all computerized. Well, computerized that means there is the technology right now as we're talking. We that's what that's what has taken us some time mm-hmm. because we were writing we were writing the timing clock. Mm-hmm. It's not the normal timing clock. We were writing the program for the timing clock and that happened. Achieve and so now we are getting ready to start. So, also, will every, every month, the every, month seen this. every month there is going to be one tournament. Every month there is going to be so we are looking forward to the February tournament. February tournament starting very soon because we are talking about days from now. Yeah, yeah. So, all the sets, all the sets in terms of uh, what about location? Yes, we have three locations where we already have the cameras and the table all set up. So those are the first two locations that will come that will, that will compete against each other. Mm-hmm. So one player is going to be in location A, B and C and the three players are going to play against each other. And uh, we are going to make it around the world. If I will ask you, has it been done somewhere before you just this, this is the first of its kind? Uh it has not been it has not been done anywhere mm-hmm. outside of Nigeria. The question is that the pandemic has thrown a challenge to everybody all over the world. So you, we are all thinking of how do we adapt, how do we adjust all we do to meet current challenges. Right. So um, we, we should be looking forward to this, just like you said, sure. just a couple of days from now. And are you um, trying to? Yeah, out to get the feedback from players. Yes, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> many of the two players, many of the two players think it's weird, it's boring, all of that because it's new and everything. But also look at it that if there is some good prizes on, on the table, so two players don't mind trying to have them. Look, look, it was because the uh, esports is also making waves right yeah, now. So it's like esports, sports. yes. It's like esports. Esports is making waves everywhere in the world. Esports is making waves. So everything, everything, everything that is new tends to feel, feel so there are some lot of things coming on board. But as people get used to it, I believe that the 2000 will build and many people are, the beauty about it is that now you can play against other opponents for many locations. Mm-hmm. So somebody in Abuja can play somebody in Lagos without having to risk his life. And the insecurity in the country and travel is going to be able to play. So from a value in Abuja, provided we have the infrastructure to be part of it, can play against somebody in Lagos and everybody will just have some fun. It's a global village. Like uh, the other um the eight ball pool, the, the Chinese eight ball pool, the nine, the regular nine ball, uh, are we gonna be seeing players being ranked by what they do with the virtual pool. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody in all the pool games, in all the pool games, everything there is supposed to be where the, the, the Q Sport management system is used to rank players. So ranking is important. But this time, you know, without ranking, you don't have any sports. So virtual team will be seen in ranking. Yes, there's going to be a ranking. So I think it can be different. Your ranking in the regular night ball might be different from your ranking, ranking in the virtual. That's it. So you can be number one in the virtual. Well, in nine, you can be that. Okay. So it depends on, on your preference. So now we have different now, different versions of pool. So virtual pool is now a new version of pool that's quite a lot of people will want to participate because it gives you an opportunity of meeting other people in other states without having necessarily to travel. Okay. All right. 
that's it as far as uh, the virtuals uh, pool is concerned. And uh, just be on the lookout for what will be happening just a couple of days from now. Don't mind you, uh, February is just down the corner there. So we will be having the rest of the virtual pool courtesy of Digi Ventures and uh, Asset TV as television. All right, just stay tuned as we bring you the best of Fusilus on this uh, channel. All right, let's go. Let's move away from there. And thank you very much, Joe, as usual. Let's move away from there. Let's talk about what's going on globally as far as uh, food is concerned. Just before we get in, into we came on set rather, we heard uh, the announcement by Matt Hume, and that's about the content or the properties that is the lined up for uh, 2021. Six of them, and wow, it's mouth watering. There is Champions League, World Pool Masters, World Pool Championship, World Cup of Pool, which is the World Cup of Pool, and the Moscone is there also, and the US Open. Right, sure. Get in. Sure, it shows pool is growing, like we've always said. It's a big sport. Um, right now, Matt Room has unveiled his 2021 uh, schedule, and like you have just mentioned, uh, we have. Uh, Championship League pool, which is like our football, you know, football we have Championship League pool, we have World Pool Masters, we have World Pool Championship, we have World Cup of Pool, we have US Open, and we have Moscow League Cup. And Matchroom has continued to be a, a trailblazer in when it comes to developing sporting content and sporting properties. Mm -hmm. Right now, I think this is a good one. The fact of those who want to go into professional pool and uh, um, for us in Nigeria, it's something for our two players to be looking for. Yeah, I think uh, let's also look at an opportunity because from these two, I know uh, you guys, uh, we're now talking from the perspective of uh, the Stoker Pool Players Alliance right now. Uh, are you seeking any partnership with all this? Because I know you guys are always <laughs> looking for how to expand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, we are always looking for avenues to, to, to break new ground. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Definitely, I can assure you that uh, uh, we are we are exploring ways of partnering, partnering with matching uh, to see how we can bring. First of all, can we bring this to Nigeria as content and television, okay. so that like how everybody watches Premier League, we can also have the opportunity of watching some of these beautiful televised programs on our television, and soon we will also explore ways of seeing whether how we can get Nigerian players to. to to dream of okay. playing on such uh, platforms or in such sectors of events. That's especially, what especially for those who are already doing very well as far as the ranking is concerned. Sure, sure, I agree with you. It, it, it's what we came for to. He <laughs> not for in that time and fire that was much longer. It was much more in your life. And I believe it is something I can tell you. Like how many young footballers mm -hmm. all dream of playing for Arsenal and all of them. How was he looking for to going to play? On some of these platforms, because I'm very sure the reward, when it comes to matching, that the reward is always good. So that's something Nigerian people are looking for an opportunity to play at that level and to get rewarded at the All right, uh, for Matthew, uh, it reminds you um, variants and touches. <laughs> Varian, my mentor. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he, he touches he, he, everything he touches is good. Mm -hmm. Everything he touches is good. I pray I also have the, <laughs> the opportunity of touching everything in Nigeria as well as the sport. As it comes to go. Mm -hmm. Because the Q sport is your passion, and I want to wish you all the best. And uh, hopefully, uh, we will keep talking more and keep promoting Q sports in the show. Yeah, thank you, Julie. All right, that's it for us on the show today. That's uh, all we've been able to do. Just uh, keep you uh, watching, uh, subscribe to our channel, Asset Television and um, YouTube and keep enjoying all the best content that we have for you. And so I come your way next time. Special thanks again to Joe for being my guest and for being a partner on of the sex. So I come your way next time. Jolando is my name and enjoy your day and 2021.